sleep came over me. I, I, I attributed it to the normal thing that when people read or watch TV, they get sleepy. I started thinking different. I started thinking, what if this is the enemy and he doesn't want me to write this book? Because every time I sit down to write my memoir, which is a lot about my miracles, I go sleep. Why? So this time I put my hands on my head and I says, Lord, I give you my mind. I pray that it become your mind. I'm one with you. And in the name of Jesus, I said, Satan, take your hands off my mind. I cast you out underneath the feet of Jesus. Spirit of sleep, leave me now. And I plead the blood of Jesus on me. And I pray now that my mind is yours, Lord. Make my mind clear and wide awake. And guess what happened? Asleep left me. Coincidence? No. Jesus said to the people in the boat, the disciples, the apostles, he said, during the storm, they said, wake us up. So he stood up and he calmed the storm. And he's been telling to me, raise my hand up. Calm the storms around my home, the hurricanes, the tornadoes, in the name of Jesus. I speak to the elements, peace, be still. Jesus said to them, would you wake me up for us tired? You know I'm in a human body too, and I'm just not divine. I'm human, and I needed to rest because I have to preach to so many people when I get to the shore. Can't you do it? Where is your faith, he said. Where's your faith? You've got my name. Use it. And put your hand out. Just like Peter. After Jesus left and the Holy Spirit fell on everybody. Peter was doing, performing miracles in Jesus' name. And Paul was doing it. And the apostles were doing it. Miracle after miracles were happening. He wants that for you too. You don't have to be an apostle or a prophet or like in the Bible. To be used to do God's miracles. You know that. I'm talking to people that haven't experienced this yet. But I'm also talking about small things like that sleep that came over me. It could be the same thing, a negative attitude. You say, no, get off of me, negative attitude. No, get off of me, a suicidal attitudes in the name of Jesus. No, get off of me, thoughts of divorce for my husband. No, get off of me, starving my doubts and doubting my doubts. Stay away, doubts. My son's going to be healed in the name of Jesus. Finally, you put on the armor of God, putting, taking up the shield of faith, resisting the fiery darts of the devil, picking up the sword, which is the word of truth, breastplate of righteousness over the heart, the most tender part that has to be protected, emotions and stuff that wind up in the brain. You need to keep them right here. They, they mustn't go up here. Only faith should be up here. And... And guard these hearts. God gave you emotions for a reason. To do good things with them. Not let them spend to evil. And then gird everything together with God's truth. Which is in his word. Because he is the way. The truth. And the life. And then on your feet the gospel of peace. Which is when you go around. You teach the truth and love. I love you guys. This is Mama Mia Love. And I just want to say the same prayerful attitude. Is the same with worry, anxiety, headaches, pains in the body. First pray and declare and resist and it will flee. And all day long, Satan tries to stop Christians from doing God's work. It's getting stronger and stronger. You have to resist, my darling. You don't fight with Satan. You run to God. He does your battling for you in the battle field of your mind. I God bless you, and I'm praying you have a good day. Dear Lord, I pray that everybody in the sound of my voice agrees with me, and we agree together. Come, Holy Spirit, and teach them the things that I was sharing with them, that in your name we can do all things, because you are the one doing it through us. You are the healer. You are the mountain mover, the sea calmer, the hurricane dispeller, and we just thank you in Jesus' name. Have a good day, darling. Bye.